Yes, dear, what is it? Well, Mr. Evans, uh, Miss Black wanted me to bring this to you. Oh? Won't you sit down, Jim? I understand you have an unusual pencil, Jim. Yes, sir. That is, it's nothing special. But you're rather proud of it. It has my name on it. I won it in an essay contest. May I see it? Mm -hmm. Personally, I think that something like this is better for carving. I'll fix the desk, Mr. Edmonds. I'll sand it down and refinish it. You won't be able to tell where I scratched it at all. That's a good idea, Jim. I'll begin today, after school. That will be fine. Well, what else do you want me to do, Mr. Edmonds? Perhaps you can help me with a problem. I'd like your advice, Jim. My advice? Yes, I've got quite a serious problem. There are a great many young people in the school, Jim. Each is an individual. But in one important way, they're all alike. They're all growing up. Is that the problem, Mr. Edmonds? Yes, growing up is a problem. Because, well, I remember one time I watched some of the boys play ball. You've probably seen it too. The boys were all about your age. In years, they're young men. But sometimes, in their behavior... They act like children? That's it. A boy batting struck out, and what a fuss he made. He was a young man in years, but the way he behaved was more in keeping with a five-year-old. When you see a child do the same thing, you think, oh, well, he'll grow up sometime. But at 15 or 16, this boy was still reacting the same way. He was still showing violent temper when little things went wrong for him. So the question is, why doesn't he grow up? Why does he still behave as a child? How can we help him get rid of these leftovers from childish behavior? That sort of behavior we call an infantile reaction. Infant? Well, whatever it is, it spoils the game for others. Why can't he act his age? I guess scratching a desk spoils it for others, too. Why can't I act my age, eh? That's what I'd like to know, Jim. Well, you know what to do about the desk. But now this pencil. If you were a first grader, I'd just keep it, wouldn't I? Oh, but Mr. Edmonds, I'm not... not a first grader. Hmm. Oh, you're not. So suppose you start fixing that desk, come back for your pencil when you feel you're ready for it. Yes, sir. Good night, Jim. Why can't I act my age? <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, well. Fix up the desk and forget about the whole thing. Pencil gone? Oh, yes. Maybe one of these pencils will do it. Hey, act your age. No use getting sore. That won't open the can. Hello? Oh, Mr. Olson. Need some help, son? Why, yes. Do you have a knife or something to open this? Yes, I guess so. I'm using yours to carve up a desk, I see. No, a pencil. A pencil? Bright, proper young fellows in this school. Every day, think up a new way to act like babies. Never grow up. Still little boys playing with morals. Pencils, knives, pulling girls' hair. Well, there's no sense in cleaning up here until you're through. I'll come back later. Still little boys. Playing with marbles, eh? 
Maybe it's true. Remember what Bill did yesterday. He was sitting right there. I guess he thought no one was looking when he took Jean's notebook. Was he cheating? Probably. And that's a childish thing to do. That's a child's way out. Then there was Phyllis the other day. She seemed to be worrying about something. And when Miss Black called on her, and she wasn't ready with an answer, why, you'd have thought it was something terrible that had happened. She almost cried. Just like a little girl. Yeah, that's it. An infantile reaction. Why don't we act our age? I'm going to talk to Mr. Edmonds again. After school tomorrow. I've given it a lot of thought and... Well, I'm not the only one, Mr. Edmonds. Everyone seems to act childish sometimes, but I don't understand just why. Well, it's partly because of the way we grow up. Your body's growing up now, Jim. You're growing much taller these years, but it may be some years more before your shoulders really broaden out and you become fully grown. Growing up emotionally is much the same. Different parts of our personalities grow at different rates. Some of us never grow up entirely. So one side of a fellow's personality could be grown up and another still infantile. Is that right? Yes. For example, you've seen the girl who always has to win an argument. Most of the time she behaves like a young lady, but let someone disagree with her. Well, she might just as well be five years old. We see reactions like this with young children. Then there's the fellow who can't take a joke. He laughs as hard as anyone at most jokes, but when the joke's on him, watch out. His five-year-old brother would react the same way. There's the boy who constantly shows off to gain attention. There's the girl who cries over trifles. Then remember, there's the ball player who becomes violently angry when he loses out. Those are some of the many infantile reactions we see around us every day. They indicate that a part of one's personality isn't growing up with the rest. Now, what we need is some method of measuring our growth, comparing various parts of our personalities. Say, I have an idea, Mr. Edmonds. I think I can figure out my age. Anyway, I'd like to try. Just a minute. Don't you want your pencil? No, sir. I'll wait until I know how old I am. Let's see. How old am I? When someone disagrees with me? When someone pokes fun at me? When I want attention? When I am confused? when I don't get what I want. There. I guess those are pretty important times to watch out for infantile reactions. Now to rate my age today and then see how well I can grow. Oh, hello, Mr. Olson. You again? <laughs> Carved up another desk already? No, I'm just trying to figure out how old I am. Ask your mother. No, I mean how old I am and the way I behave. Oh, don't rate yourself too high. I won't bother you, will I? No, this is too important. I thought of it two days ago, so I made several copies of this and had my parents rate my age in each of these points and my best friend. My rating wasn't exactly high in some places. But it looks like a good rating system. What do you do now? Well, I'll have to work hard to bring my rating up. Here, for instance, where it says, how old am I when I don't get what I want? I rated myself 10 years old. And my dad put it even lower than that. 
So I'm going to get in the habit of controlling my temper. And maybe next month I'll have a better rating. And by next year, I want to catch up with my real age. That's something to look forward to. I'll see. Well, I'm not going to tell you all my ratings, but I thought you might want a copy of this. I certainly would. I think everyone here should rate himself and have his friends rate him this way, to make sure he grows up evenly. And gets rid of those infantile reactions. <laughs> uh, I think I'd like my pencil back now. It's there on the desk. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Mr. Edmonds. Goodbye. How old are you? Wouldn't you like to try rating yourself on a sheet like this? <laughs> <laughs>